treasure hunters began swarming across Oklahoma in 1964, after the Library of Congress put out a booklet showing possible sites where gold and coins were buried. Among the possible spots where one could strike it rich was Lookout Mountain northwest of Tulsa. Treasure seekers armed with crazy contraptions set off to find gold in them hills. Tulsa TV anchor Bill Pitcock went into the field and filed this report. There are two maps available with a booklet that lists over 100 locations here in the state where there are supposedly millions of dollars buried just waiting to be found. Here in northeastern Oklahoma, one of the maps shows treasure supposedly buried in Bartlesville, Vanita, Nowata, Afton, Peoria, Adair, Tahlequah, Fort Gibson, Taft, Ponca City, Choteau, and Tulsa. Here in Tulsa, where there is supposedly buried treasure, is atop Lookout Mountain, presently where we're standing now, about eight miles southwest of Tulsa. According to the map, some gold coins were found on the top of this mountain in 1907, and the finder said that there was more buried outside the old town of Red Fork. In Shoto, the map says that a man by the name of Lindsay in 1873 buried $20,000 in gold in a ravine overlooking the present town of Shoto. That gold was never found. Another location pointed out is 13 miles east of Norman, where $500,000 in gold was thrown in a creek during an Indian attack and that gold was never found, and so on for about 100 locations here in Oklahoma. Of course, the Library of Congress in Washington assumes no responsibility for the accuracy or the inaccuracy of these maps, nor do they guarantee that all who consult them will find tangible riches. However, there's always that one chance that if one has the time or the inclination, one might, just might, with a little luck, overnight become an Oklahoma millionaire. Yeah, this is the transistorized model of a metal detector, and uh, you can take it anywhere. It's very lightweight, made of aluminum and so forth. And I run it over this can here, and you can hear the difference in the pitch. And you can hear how that pitch raises. This earphone that I'm wearing right here can be plugged in, and this makes it a silent thing, where if you don't want anybody to hear that you're finding a tin can, uh, you can't hear what's happening now. So it works two ways, with or without the earphone. And so this is supposed to uh, find gold? Uh, yes, it's supposed to find gold uh, if you know where to look for it, so to speak. In other words, this will find anything metal underneath the ground. This is called a Detectron 711 metal detector. It, uh, it will detect metal up to 15 feet deep. It could be uh, treasure, iron, silver, anything that's electrically conductive. Has it uh, proved pretty effective for you in the past? I haven't found anything as yet, but it hasn't lied to me so far either. This here is a, uh, what they call a doodle bug. Uh, it is loaded with uh, gold and silver, platinum in the cylinder, and uh, it is supposed to uh, run off the attraction of, of a one metal uh, is it loaded into this to the what they're in the ground uh, of the same type of metal. and. Uh, it works in a form of uh, oh, a kind of electric uh, wave or some similar, uh, and it has uh, the, the dip needles here are uh, are used by two people, and uh, uh, they claim a man and woman is, it works better than with uh, two men. 